Okay. So it's it's one of the important question also in the interviews. So they'll be asking us. So are you working in the SaaS model or you are working in the PaaS model? We call it as a SaaS environment or a PaaS environment also. Okay. So we are discussing that Oracle Fusion Cloud ERP is uh, one of the ERP product, which is cloud based uh, ERP software. It has got financials, human capital management, supply chain management, CRM, PPM, like a lot of other modules we have, a lot of other domains. Okay. So when any client says that I want to use this cloud ERP to maintain my accounting information, they'll be going ahead with the cloud finance. They'll go for subscribe for the financials modules. If client says that I would like to maintain my employees, uh, data i have thousands of employees in my organization my employee salaries my employee leaves my employee compensation benefits and other information then human capital management will be used and of course supply chain management is for procurement as well as for sales and other information it's going to be used okay so when when any client has decided to use the oracle cloud erp oracle will ask do you want to go with the SaaS environment or you want to go with the PaaS environment. So SaaS environment is nothing but software as a service. PaaS environment means platform as a service. So SaaS is a software as a service. PaaS is a platform as a service. We can also call it SaaS as a public environment and PaaS is private, private cloud. We can also call it, but Officially, we can say SaaS software as a service and platform as a service. So this ERP software will be installed in the SaaS environment as well as in the PaaS environment. SaaS environment means this environment or this server will be used by multiple clients. Multiple clients are going to share this server. This particular environment will be shared by the multiple clients. Multiple clients are going to share this particular environment, this SaaS model. When it comes for PaaS model, dedicated server will be allocated. Dedicated server will be allocated for the clients. Dedicated server will be allocated for the clients. In the SaaS model, client can go for perform the functional setups. Here also we can perform functional setups here. And here we will be able to do some technical work also. Technical reports development analysis, OTBA analysis development. These things can be done. Here also we can do that. But additionally here, we can develop new modules. In fact, new pages by using VBCS, Visual Builder Cloud Service. Java Cloud Services, DBS, Database Cloud Services, OSES, Oracle Integration Cloud Services. So this PaaS model will allow us to develop the product, extend the product, and go for extensively customization as per our client's business requirement. But in SaaS model, it's not possible. Whatever the features are provided by Oracle, that we can go for modify. But here you will have the flexibility. For example, we are working in global HR module. If you want to configure the approvals, approval groups, there will be two types. One is static approval group. Another one is dynamic approval group. Static means fixed employee names will list out. But my client says that I wanted to change or I want to change the uh, approvers route uh, routing option based on some logic. I want to write some business logic then that cannot be done in the SaaS environment. That is possible in platform as a service where you can write your Java code because JCS is available, Java cloud service. So you will have the access to the database where you can perform the database activities. You will have the access to the JCS and OSCS integration cloud services also. We can perform full-fledged technical part as well as functional and also the integration. Everything is possible because this particular environment, we call it as dedicated server. It's a 
private cloud. So when, when the client says that I have used customizations, it's a large scale industry. I would like to customize the product and extend the product, develop this product uh, according to my business requirement. Whatever Oracle has provided the feasibilities means features. Uh, I'm not satisfied that much. I want some more. I want to make some changes and enhancements. Then they'll go with the pass model, which is expensive. Pass model is expensive because Oracle has to provide Oracle has to provide the dedicated server for this. They have to provide the dedicated server uh, for the clients and make some changes over here. And SaaS model uh, is uh, for small scale as well as mid size also. In fact, uh, pass model also is okay for uh, big clients. Uh, even if you have some thirty thousand employees, forty thousand employees, also you can maintain in the SaaS model. It doesn't mean that SaaS model. Uh, won't uh, suitable for the large scales uh, industries. It's okay for even large scale industries also. But if client says that I have used customizations, I want to go for uh, deploy the product and customize the product and all they wanted to do it, then obviously you have to go with the pass model. You have to go with the pass model. So SaaS model, there will be a limitations on your product extensions as well as the developments and customizations part. But there won't be any limitations in the past model platform as a service. Okay, this is uh, two types. There are two more things, but generally uh, these two things won't come under cloud ERP product. So here I can find AS and DAS. IaaS is nothing but infrastructure as a service. Infrastructure as a service. Some client says that I'm not interested to use your tools and products which are available in your cloud. I have my own tools. I have my own applications. I have developed myself in Java or .NET or in some other, some other tools I have done. And of course, I have developed myself. So I just need only your server. I just need only your infrastructure. I don't want to use any of your software tools or products i would like to use my tools and my products but I, what i need is i just need your server to install my tools and applications and uh, execute day-to-day -day activities through my employees that's what i need that's type of employees will go with the uh, as infrastructure as a service this is uh, required for the people who are not going to use this product. So Oracle is providing this services also, but it will not come under the cloud ERP. Next, DAS is nothing but data as a service. Uh, when the client says that uh, I have some data, if you want access, I'm ready to give, or you can access the data from my server. So it depends on the number of records I will charge. For example, Naukri is there. Naukri.com, we know that it is one of the number one job portal in India, which is having some millions of profiles, job profiles, profiles in their uh, database. And they are ready to sell these uh, records to the customers. Who are their customers? Almost in India, every company wants to uh, hire the employees, right? Obviously, they need a data. So they'll make the payment for them and uh, they will access per record how much... Uh, data they are going to get it. So that that is a DAS, data as a service. But Oracle does not have any data, of course. So they don't have, they don't maintain any data for sales and other things. I'm just telling the example. In the cloud environment, we'll find uh, these are four different services uh, when we go with the cloud computing concept and other things. But when we talk about cloud ERP software, whether it is finance or human capital or supply chain, let's say you are working in cloud ERP, which environment if they ask us, then we have to say that either SaaS model or uh, PaaS model. SaaS means software as a service, PaaS means platform as a service. So SaaS model only we are working. So the moment when you uh, connect to the applications uh, here in the URL, you will come to know this is your uh, SaaS SAS model, FA stands for Fusion Applications, and this is the demos, and of course, it's going to be our uh, real-time also, okay? So that's the difference between the SAS environment as well as the PaaS environment uh, when we are working with the cloud ERPs. So whatever the resumes you are preparing uh, so far, whatever we are working, 
then it's going to be then it's going to we call it as uh, SaaS model only. PaaS model for technical consultants there will be a huge difference uh, because they you used to write the Java code and write the logic. They can create uh, database tables, procedure functions, and packages, and they can develop integrations and uh, they can build new pages by using VBCS, Visual Builder, Cloud Services, and all. But when it comes for the functional consultant, whether it is SaaS model or PaaS model, there, is, there won't be any difference because the application is same. But if it is uh, PaaS server, means PaaS cloud, then you will be having the access to all these tools and products, so data access, file servers, everything. You will be able to do all your uh, development, customizations, extensions, all the things can be done, okay? So that's about the difference between your uh, cloud uh, environments, SaaS model, as well as the PaaS model, okay? Thank you.